everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically upload your HTML email designs from Figma to the Braze email marketing platform using the Emailify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the resources icon up the top here. And if you search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y. And if you click on the Emailify results under the plugins tab, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here, which will save it to your plugins list for easy access. So I've already done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas. I'm just gonna right click anywhere, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins, and then click on the emailify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically helps you to design HTML emails directly in Figma, which you can then export to production ready HTML code uh, with one click when you're finished. So I'm not gonna go through all of the design features of the plugin today. I'm just gonna be assuming that you've already familiarized yourself with that, uh, with some of the other Figma tutorials on the YouTube channel for Emailify. And I'm just gonna assume you've got your template ready to go. So the last thing I'm gonna to add to mind here is just go to the footers tab. I'm just gonna click on the Braze footer. And that's just gonna make sure that the unsubscribe link is included automatically. So we've got our little navigation component the link setting. If you click on the HTML and mobile settings, you can see that the clickable link is set to the Braze unsubscribe URL. So now we're ready to go. So once we're ready to export it to HTML, you can just click on this little export HTML button up here. And we're gonna change the platform from just HTML email, which just downloads it to your computer to the platform integration section. And then we're just gonna click on Braze. So click on the Braze item. And then it's gonna ask you for your Braze API key and your Braze endpoint. So you can click on this link to find out some more details about that. But basically, if you're already logged into Braze, the way you can find these is if you just go to your dashboard, you can see down here that you've got your API endpoint. So the endpoint uh, region is what we're after. So you can see ours is FRA02. So in our plugin, we're just gonna change this little uh, endpoint selector and go down to FRA02. And then we're gonna to go to our manage API keys section. So if you click on manage API keys in Braze, that's gonna take you to a new page to create a new API key. So we don't have any set up yet. So we're gonna click on the create new API key button over here. And then all you need to do is give it a name. So in the API key name field in Braze, just put in uh, emailify or whatever label you wanna give it. And for the permissions or scopes, we're just gonna scroll all the way down to templates and click on templates.email.create. So this is gonna allow the API key to create a new template uh, on your Braze dashboard. So we're gonna keep that one checked and that's all we need to select for now. So we're gonna go ahead and click on save API key. So once that creates your API key, you can see that it's given the new listing with the emailify name and we've got our API key here. So all you need to do is click on this little copy button. So I'm just gonna click copy. That's gonna copy it to my clipboard. And I'm also just gonna preemptively go to our templates page. So if you go to templates, email templates, we're gonna leave that page open for when we come back in a second to check on it. So you can see here at the moment, I don't have anything uploaded. So if I click on my HTML editor button up here, I've got no saved templates. So we'll refresh that in a second. So with our copied API key, we're just gonna go to this little REST API key field in the plugin, paste in your key there, and then you can either give the email a subject line, so we can give this a test subject, and then once you're happy with that, just click on the Upload to Braze button. So once you click Upload to Braze, this is gonna automatically generate all of the HTML, it's gonna upload all of the images, and it's gonna now tell us that our Braze templates have been uploaded. So we can access them by going to our Braze account, uh, go into this template sidebar item, which we just did, and click on email templates. So this is the page we're on now, the email templates page. And then you just wanna click on the HTML editor tab up here. So where it says select your editing experience, make sure you've got the HTML uh, editor tab selected. And you can see when we click that, it's refreshing our saved HTML templates. And you can see that our test template, which is what we called it in Figma, the frame over here, has been uploaded. So if we click on that, that will upload, that will load up the template. So you can see we've got our test template up here and we've got our test subject. So that's the subject line we added a minute ago in the plugin. So it's included the subject line. And of course, it's also included the email body. So you can see here that it's uploaded the email. We've got a bit of a screenshot of it. 
And now you can go ahead, if you wanted to, you can preview and test that. So if you click on preview and test, uh, that'll let you preview it. So you can see this is all uh, inline HTML, real HTML uh, that's been uploaded. And you're able to now uh, test that um, to yourself or send a test to somebody else with uh, pre-populated information from a certain user if you had any placeholder fields and stuff like that. So this is basically what it looks like. And uh, yeah, if you click on the HTML mobile one, that'll show you what it looks like on HTML uh, on the mobile version, which matches up with the plugin preview as well. We didn't go through that, but you can click on preview and you can see here it's matching up with the Braze preview. So yeah, that's uh, basically it for today. I just wanted to keep this really short. If you're using the Braze email marketing platform, uh, this is a really quick way of getting your HTML email templates from Figma into Braze uh, using the Emailify plugin with one click. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.